Somewhere over the rainbow. Hello, 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 my love bugs. How are you all doing? Today is Tuesday. That means it is Tell All Tuesday. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you've just subscribed and you don't already know, I am also a singer and songwriter myself. So I take some time on Tuesdays to tell you all a little bit about some of my work, whether it's a cover song and explaining sort of the um, mentality that I was in when I recorded it or the reason for recording it, or if it's an original song and I tell you a little bit about the writing process, the recording process, and the creative vision behind the video. So today I will be reacting to, reacting to, well commenting on, um, it's not really a reaction when it's a song that you wrote, um, but I will be commenting on, although sometimes it is like a reaction because I haven't watched this video in so long. Sometimes when I have found myself watching these videos after not watching them for a while, I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that part. And then I'm surprised all over again or I'm just reliving the moment and it's just super cool. It's like I'm I'm experiencing it with you all again for the first time. So today um, the video that I'm going to be commenting on is called Moonshine and this is an original song. Now Moonshine was written during a time where I decided to go by a stage name Bon L. Um, bon L had a couple of different meanings. The second half of my name is, my name is Danielle. So the second half of my name is L. Um, that was one of my nicknames. And, um, so I decided to use that and Bon obviously means good in French. So L also means girl in French. So it was like good girl. Um, and it just had like sort of like a double meaning for me. So I thought that was kind of cute. And, um, that was, that was the name and that was because I was working with a band and it was a little bit more attractive to have a band name rather than my name and be a solo artist with a backing band. I meant that is why some of my music is listed under Bon L on iTunes, Spotify and even on my YouTube channel. If you click on some of those videos, you'll see Bon L in the title or something like that. So Moonshine was released under the name Bon L but it is definitely me, and um, this song is very, uh, well, let's jump into it, and then I'll talk about it there. Also, if you like my videos, if you like what I'm doing here on my channel, then you can also follow along with me on other platforms of social media, like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and even TikTok now. Um, it is at Danny Atkinson across the board, so Make sure that you're following along with me on all of those platforms. Let's get right into it. Actually, this video was so cool. So the director that I worked with, he was also connected to the acting studio that I had been a part of at NYU. Um, so when we decided to bring actors into the video, um, we actually casted a lot of my college friends. It was super cool. So those, um, that couple that you just saw walk by, those were friends of mine from school. So really, really fun to look back and see friends in the video. It's pretty awesome. Fill my day with hidden lives. Forbidden kisses, we can make this last. Meet me there about six or so. Underneath the sunset's glow. So that little pre 
Paris there is actually um, a lot more clever, I have to give myself some credit here, um, than people may realize. I'm naming off um, different, so the song is called Moonshine, um, and you know, that pre-chorus is sort of a play on words because Moonshine is obviously also an alcohol, right? And White Lightning is another name for Moonshine, so Rise and Shine is another uh, name for Moonshine. So I sort of was using like a double, like a play on words there to come up with these analogies and also use other words for Moonshine, um, other nicknames for it. So I thought that was kind of clever and really cute. Um, and I just have to say, I'm loving the whole look that I had going on in this video, the dress, the boots with the socks. Um, I'm like, wow, damn, that was cute. <laughs> here. I love the gang vocals that we did. Um, it is stacks of my voice upon each other and it's really cool and my producer even hops in there um, and he does some of the gang vocals with me. Super awesome. Um, I just, this whole vibe of this song, I was really in a place of wanting to do some just really earthy and um, you know folky type stuff, pop folk type stuff. I was listening to a lot of um, you know American authors and uh, Lumineers and Oh Honey, all these bands that I felt were sort of in this vein and I loved it. It spoke to me. It was just like, put the music on in the car, just feel good, good vibe music. And I felt like it was, music was really taking a trend towards that at the time. And um, I just, I, I love this. Like I go back and I listen to it and I'm just like, oh, I love it. And then I have another funny story, but I'll save that for the next commentary. I'll, I'll wait for a moment. from acting school. Um, this is just like such an adorable little moment here. tells something else that's just a behind the scenes something funny um, I had just um, finished uh, college in Manhattan 
And, you know, when I lived in Manhattan, I really didn't go anywhere else other than Manhattan. I didn't leave the borough of Manhattan at all. Um, this video was filmed in Queens. I was totally unfamiliar with Queens at the time. Had no idea where I was. Didn't know. Like, I was just like, oh, la, 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 like, following along the director of the video, like, letting him take me to these spots. Um, this is obviously filmed in, um, if you're a New Yorker, you know, this is filmed in Astoria Park. And it's just funny because then I ended up running miles and miles and miles and miles and miles in this park um, and literally run along this spot and just always think about this video and reflect on this video and filming this video and um, just like so weird just a weird thing of how things work out right um, who would have I wouldn't have thought that when I was standing there um, you know filming this but anyways um, I love the story in this video. It's such a hopeful story, and I think that that is something so refreshing. Um, the storyline of the video, you know, here I am walking through the city, and I'm just writing in my journal, and I'm just observing all these other love stories and sort of concocting this love story in my head, and then that moment is supposed to be like a little bit of a fate-type moment and a moment of just hope and like, oh my god, maybe you know, maybe I can have that too, this, you know, meet me by the willow tree moment. Um, so let's keep going. Let's let it finish, Scott, like a little bit more. fun so Aaron Foster directed that music video he did an incredible job it was such a fun day on set I will never forget it um, and I remember preparing for that video I remember the photo shoot leading up to it I remember the video shoot um, this was the title track on the album I was so excited for it um, this album did extremely well and um, and then David Andronico produced this song and this album and he just did amazing, amazing work. Um, and it's something that I'm I'm super, super proud of. Uh, I look back on this song and I'm like, wow. It just really, you know, it was such a great expression of who I am as an artist and uh, and I had so much fun with these lyrics, writing these lyrics and diving into a story. So if you really, um, I commented a lot on the video aspect of it and less on the song aspect of it. But if you have time, pull the song up on your Spotify, really listen to the lyrics and the story that it tells and the, the story of hope and love and, and commitment. Um, it's really something beautiful and uh, I just... Um, going back and, and looking back on it. It's something that I, I am really proud of. So thank you all for being here with me. I love giving you all a little bit more insight into me as an artist and who I am, and I hope that you enjoy that. So I will be seeing you guys soon. I love you all so very much. Thank you for joining me for this Tell All Tuesday, and I will be seeing you guys soon. Bye. Someday I wish upon a star.